Hello everyone, um, I'm doing uh, interactive stuttering series number 5 now. And the question is, um, okay, the first question is, is what letters have, have changed in your stuttering patterns? Um, I guess I used to stutter on, I wouldn't say letters, I used to stutter more on proper nouns than I did before. Like if I ever had to say a, a proper noun like a band name or somebody's name, I used to have a problem. If I don't have very much of a problem now, I do have an issue between saying 102 or 102. Uh, some, sometimes in different situations, it's, it's, it's easier to say 102 or 102 in different situations. But uh, that's the only uh, real thing that, that I guess changed. And the uh, second question is what situation... Uh, situations have made your starting words um well I guess uh, well when I was a senior in college uh, about a year ago it was actually May of May of 2008 yes yeah, around May 2008 I had to uh, take a public speaking class and that was one of the hardest classes I've ever taken like, I've never had so much stress involved in talking and I, and I knew everything that I was talking about. I was very, very proficient in what I wanted to talk about and wanted to say, but I just never had I guess the confidence and I used to close my eyes a lot and it used to be very difficult to uh, talk. And it was a class but basically you had to like talk the entire time in class and it used to make make it the, the most the most stressful situation. And also there was a class I took a quarter before no, it was a. It was two quarters before that. I think it was a. Uh, it was a. It was a fall of two thousand. Yeah, the fall of two thousand seven. Uh, class I took because the Louisiana Tech is on is on the quarter system. So the first quarter of my senior year uh, at Louisiana Tech, I had to take a. It was, it was an economics class I had to take, and um, we had to. It was basically a discussion class where you had to where uh, you had to read a book. You had to discuss what you thought about the book and your opinion on it. And the whole class, all, all you had was just your you had a you had a midterm, which was pretty much uh, all essays. And the final was uh, you had to go up in the class, in front of the class. And you, you had to make basically a, a forty-five a, a forty-five minute speech in front of the class. And public speaking. I, although I have a very audible voice, it's very difficult to talk at times, and that was a hard situation. And um, I actually had my motivation to speak in the class because my father, um, I I talked to him a couple days before, and I uh, and he wanted me to go ahead and try to overcome it, just learn how to talk in class. And people realized that when I did talk, I, I had something meaningful to say. Well. Uh, the last day of the quarter in 2007, um, on on December 16th, uh, 2008, seven, um, he died. Uh, he had a heart failure. And, uh, he passed away, and um, in a way, I guess that it, it made it hard for me, cause um, I don't know, really, like in a way, he always, every time I was around him, he, he just he 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 he, uh, he, um, he he made me very nervous, I guess. I always felt like he always had this expectation of me. He always wanted me to improve myself, and he never really, really accepted my stuttering until I got older. I mean, he never really understood that it was just a part of who I am, and that it was hard to change. He says that it was kind of his fault that, that why I stuttered. I mean, I got it from my mom, but then again, he was kind of part of it too, because it said that that stutters are uh, also can uh, get worse in, in high stress environments and my father uh, was a lawyer and always told me well you're gonna I was a lawyer I mean I was born from I was born from two college graduates I mean I was one of the first children in my family in fact I'm one of the only children on both sides of my family to be born with with parents that, that are, are two college graduates in fact, on my dad's side, he was the first person in his family to get a college degree. On my mom's side, she was she was the second person in her family to get a college degree. 
So uh, I've had, I had a lot of expectations on, on me, and I guess that's part of the reason why. But the other reason why, because it's, it's hereditary. It runs in my family also. I have a great uncle that stutters, and I have a mom that stutters too. So I guess that, that would be the reason why. But uh, that's just the, the, I guess that answers the questions. I'm going to try to answer the other three. I, I have three more to go. I'm going to try to get these out the way. Uh, and, and when Danielle, uh, she does a very good job on these uh, on these questions. And, and I really, uh, I, and I commend her for doing this. And I'm just trying to show support for her. So uh, thanks for, for listening.